Okay, so here we are a little bit further downstream on the River Churnitz. And this is, this is the real issue now, is that where the river, it wants to migrate across this mini floodplain here. But of course, Seven Trent have got their infrastructure in, they've got their, their tracks, they've got their footpaths, they've got their culverts, they've got their bridges, all sorts of things that they need to protect uh, for the safety of their visitors, but also to access and manage the site. Uh, in the past, they had uh, rocks and steel baskets in here protecting this bank, and in about 2007, 2008, it all failed. Um, they had a quote in to do bank protection again. It was something like uh, a thousand pounds a metre for the blockstone to come in. And so this is when we, we got involved and said, you know, please let us have a go at trialling um, the use of natural materials to, to, you know, if we're going to fight the river, let's use natural materials. And so this is the first um, use of an engineered log dam. So behind the students here, you might be able to see a, a massive uh, tree stumps and, and root plates that have been piled up. They've been put in a very particular position to try and send the river away from this eroding bank, send some of the state water into an old channel. Um, and then, you might not be able to make it out too well, but behind me you've got this whole bank was actually replaced with tree trunks, willow tree trunks that are actually alive. So a lot of this willow has grown up from those tree trunks. And of course, as they send roots in, these adventitious roots, it protects the bank and holds it together a lot better. So 2016 now, this work, this original work was done in 2009. So it's actually bought us a lot more time. It is working, but we imagine one day, 20 years time or something like that, you get a big storm and it will just take, take this, this road out, probably. So, so it's something for Seven Trent to think about. The other consequence of the work is that we've actually accelerated the water downstream and we're having more impact on the bridge that you can see behind us. So we came in uh, last January to do a bit more work and we've put in three more engineered log jams. Uh, we've actually pulled through uh, an artificial oxbow as well and protected this whole area. Uh, but there's certainly more work that needs to be carried out. We're ecologists, so as a wildlife trust, we're of course keen to see that this work uh, is actually good for habitats and species. And of course, so we did a lot of baseline surveys in 2009 that we're repeating. So we did fish surveys, invertebrate surveys, uh, geomorphological surveys. So you can see the students from the University of Salford doing repeat um, cross sections and velocity surveys in the back background here. Um, so we can continually measure how, you know, the response of the river in terms of physical structure to the river and those habitats and the species. So we started to see you know, dippers are using this stretch a lot more, we've seen otters using it. Um, the fish results that we just had in over the summer are showing that these features, the engineered log dams and these fallen trees are particularly good for, for trout and lamprey, also for eels and gudgeon. And, and so we can scientifically show that it's actually better for species to use, to use these techniques. We also fit in with the Churnit Valley Living Landscape Partnership and so a lot of the work that we've done recently has been a part of that, of that ongoing project. Um, it's very much about, instead of just, just protecting nature reserves, we're looking at the whole landscape and, and trying to um, increase the, 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 the habitat, um, enhance the habitats between those, between those sites. The Churnit Valley is a fantastic place because it is probably the most wooded river valley in the Midlands and so it's a great, great place to work. Um, so all that seems to be going ever so well at, at the moment. If you look at the, the, the map of the, the Churnit Valley, you'll see that the rivers, the streams, actually provide probably some of the better, best connections, uh, as, as well if you take in the canal network, in terms of connecting habitats and species across the entire landscape. So that's another important point to make.